Hello my lovely Virgos, welcome to your October reading. Sorry it's slightly late, um, like I say I'll probably do an update on this but things at home have been an issue with health and stuff, um, not mine, somebody else's, um, so I've been looking after them but here is your reading for October. My name's Lorian, I'm a Wellington witch and also if you are a returning subscriber welcome back, if you're new here welcome. I hope you get some good information. So this is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node as well. Ooh, hello. So you've already got one coming out. You've already got two, actually. Wow. Okay, so let's see what's going on for dear Virgos. In and around the October area, maybe it's Libra season going into Scorpio season. Could be some information coming through there for you. I will be doing 2022 readings so be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on those all right let's see now these are coming out um there's no set pattern here i don't do a set pattern normally anyway um but i'm thinking of doing it for november i think there needs to be some form of routine maybe that's a little bit of the virgo effect coming in through <laughs> through that as well um uh, let's have a look so you have the Ten of Wands, Temperance, Eight of Cups, the Star, and the Eight of Wands. So you have Wands bookending here, and you've got two eights. So eights are about change. They're also a lucky number in Chinese culture, so it can be that change is quite lucky, you know, depending on your perspective. Um, it can be that change is something that is to be embraced. Here I see you are choosing to walk away from something that's emotionally draining you. It could be just saying no to a project that you consider doing, but you're now kind of going, no, I don't need to do this anymore. The Ten of Wands in particular is about feeling like you've been given too much to do, too much weight to carry, too much, not responsibility, but just too much. Because everyone's expecting you to do their heavy lifting for them. They're expecting you to show up and do their work as well as yours their emotional baggage heavy lifting this could be family i'm getting a sense of family being part of this you know family being you know trying to get you to do something for them in particular um but it could as well easily be work that's actually piling on the pressure that makes dealing with family just that more harder to you know deal with um so i do feel that that's going to be something that you of course need to deal with in temperance here so temperance is something that allows you or asks you to balance yourself what is your spirit saying what's your body saying your physical needs need to be met as well as your spiritual needs are they both in harmony are you tending to them both or are they both kind of up in the air is one better than the other are you balancing your schedule or are you working to the bone? The thing with working from home a lot now is you can work from anywhere, but it's working all the time. It's, sorry, this is really annoying me. <laughs> it's working all the time. It's something that you are just focusing on. And you may always think of work, even when you're supposed to be on a day off. You could always be thinking about the work and what you have to do tomorrow and how other people are going to see you, the project that you have to finish, the deadline that you may or may not be able to meet because your health is kind of sucky. You know what I mean? There's something here that just feels like you're having to relax, restore, get a little bit of a thing going on here because for me, I think as soon as you settle yourself and as soon as you understand where your limits are, you will then be able to know which you, which thing or which area or which person or which responsibility you say goodbye to or just turn down or say no I can't do this as well I'm working myself to the bone because I feel like either your health is already making you choose what you can and can't take on or it's going to suffer as soon as you finish it all and I don't want that to happen I don't want you to overwork yourself dear Virgos I just it's not fair to you you have too much to do it's like there's so much for you to give but you can't give everything at the same time and it's just something that you know a lot of belief in yourself just to I am worthy of taking a step back for me that's something that you need to do I do feel it would be 
a good change for you to take that step back and to say, you know what, I'm going to limit the amount of time I spend on da 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 or something just so I can work on restoring my soul. And when I say work on restoring your soul, I don't mean doing heavy lifting or graft. I mean just sitting in an armchair and playing some music and listening to that as the rain beats against the window or breathing in the scent of autumn or just looking out of the window as you drive and just feeling the atmosphere around you taking a little bit of a walk somewhere if you're able to you know just doing something that is for you and quality for you without the interruptions of pets or family or technology or neighbors or just doing something that makes you happy is key i feel for the next few weeks because you can't maintain this as it goes i do feel that you've left some friends um not behind but kind of on red um they may be just because you're overwhelmed and you feel guilty about doing that and i'm here to say that you don't have to feel guilty about doing that if you say to somebody look i'm having a bit of a weird time it's not personal that's fine but you don't really owe anybody an explanation if they don't understand how hard you work that's not really on you you know that's not something that you have to do reparations for um and here as well with the eight of wands i do see rapid change i do see this kind of escapism this um change of movement change of routine something that may feel like they're saying a storm and teacup here it may feel like there's a oh, sorry the, <laughs> the torch keeps catching but it may feel a little bit like a storm and a teacup here and that you're trying to control too many things and this is where it comes to an end this is where it comes to a natural stopping point and you're able to just go look this is changing look at all these new opportunities because i've taken the time for me some of you are saying no to a job opportunity or saying no to work and leaving somewhere i think you're handing in your notice you're going no more some of you may be changing gears and actually taking a little time off of something um but something has to give dear virgo something really does have to give it's either you telling yourself that you know you are worthy of a break or enforcing you're or forcing yourself to do that okay so ooh, so we have yellow and blue so yellow and blue are the solar plexus and the throat chakra and these are very much saying to remember who you are and you are somebody who deserves harmony in relationships if somebody's taking too much now is the time to tell them here and time to walk away from that person or situation that's making you feel compromised in who you are or you know where some people are just kind of mansplainy and belittle you all the time that's not an energy you need because you are very loved i think that you deserve a lot of time and attention your solar plexus is your gut instinct as well as your confidence your throat shack is how you express yourself so if you don't have the confidence to express yourself in the way that feels authentically you this has to change you have to get the confidence back and if that's something that is being damaged by the amount of workload and other people who are taking advantage guess what they need to do they need to be yeeted on out of there they need to go <laughs> so that's something that you have to um maybe look at this month mercury is still in retrograde for a few weeks now so i do feel it's a perfect time for you to push things back review things see what you need to do before we go into scorpio season but i hope that's helpful for you my beloved virgos i do hope this was something that you can take away and think about let me know in the comments below if you resonated with this if you have any subjects you'd like me to read on or contact me on the email address below for any readings and reiki queries in the meantime love you lots and i'll speak to you very very soon